Hey folks, thanks for watching that break. Took a couple of extra seconds there. Uh, I was just telling Zombie Grub, uh, we, we have Major and Kellas are doing videos as we speak, by the way. Um, but for some of you who saw it this morning, I, I was on my like A game here when it comes to Twitter shit posting. But in the process, I managed to trip and hurt my leg really badly, and I've got a cut that goes across the entire width of my leg. Um, it was fine, and it kind of scabbed over a little bit, but then I, I knocked it on the desk during that last game, and it started bleeding again. So uh, I'm, I've, I'm hoping it'll be fine now, but if it ends up being the case where I feel uncomfortable and I want to go to the clinic, um, I've talked to Zombie Grub about it, so... Uh, I'm hoping we get through the cast. I, I really do, but just as an FYI, I may end up disappearing. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, <laughs> I actually have on my to-do list, like, get first aid material. But it was like, I've been here literally one week. I was like, what could happen in, like, one week? I'll be fine. Like, who cares? That's just silly. That's just silly. You know what, though? If I was there, I'd give you a Girl Scout cookie and it'd make you feel better. Yo, sounds like you might need the Girl Scout cookies to feel better. Rapid casting burning you on Twitter, man. So I saw him tweet something and I couldn't understand why it was a burn. Because he's calling you a problem. But, like, why? Let me, let me read this again. It's unprecedented. He's just taken an unnecessary shot fired right. in your direction. Okay, so I'm reading, I'm reading. Let's see here. You tweeted something. Because you got a couple of fun gals. You have a problem, Graham. What a mean thing to say about... Oh, I get it now. See, I read it when we were casting at first, and I was just confused. <laughs> you just, like, shrug. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. That's not even that much of a burn. That's like a... Oh. Huh. That wasn't even... That wasn't even clever. Rapid casting, I expect more. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, map sorted, by the way. Abyssal Reef, Paladina. You know what's funny? Uh, when I made this map intro for Abyssal, like ignoring the copyright issues we're running into right now, uh, I had a lot of people tell me like, oh, you shouldn't put so much effort into it. Like these are pro players, by the way. And like my friends like Nate and others, like I wouldn't put so much effort into it. Like people are just going to veto the crap out of Abyssal. And I went like, I don't, I don't think so. Like I really, from the get go, had faith in Abyssal being a pretty good map. Like, and it's... Yeah. One of the most chosen maps in the last like three weeks that we've been casting. I'm pretty sure when you started to make the map intro was around the time that like people started to agree that it was a reef was good. Like, TLO was tweeting about how much you liked it and shit. I will say I hope it stays for next season. There's not a lot of maps. I I just wish though that they would take the GSL version, the toned down version of this, and make that the latter map. Yeah. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of reasons not to. So Oh well. By the way, man, I felt so good today. So, you guys can, uh, I know, because I, I know not everyone tuning in is like a big fan of me, much less Base Trade TV, right? Uh, but I will say, for better or for worse, whether you guys love Base Trade TV or not, I was so proud to see like an actual like impact of our legacy today. Watching them use the income graph like a lot in the IEM cast made me very, very fucking happy and very proud. If only they would accredit us, though. You know what? It would be nice, but they don't, I don't <laughs> care. Like, it's... I know it. It's... Like, there's some things out there that I wish we had more credit for, like fixing the Legacy of the Void minimap, right? Like, whatever. Fine. Don't give us credit for that. I don't really care. But this is... This was, like, entirely developed by us. Like, this was entirely, like, all us. We beta tested it for Blizzard, basically, for, like, half a year. And they said, hey, this looks good. Let's do it. So... Yeah, I wish there was more credit, and I wish they had done more than just a tweet to attribute it to us, but I don't really care. I'm just happy to see that we've... We have made StarCraft better. If we were to leave and never come back, we will have made an impact on this game, and that makes me a very happy person. Okay, I actually have some more to talk about that. Let's do the intros first. Yep, uh, new best of five kicking up, guys. This will determine who goes on to fight against Scarlet in the winners, who falls against Cloudy in the losers. In the top left, it is going to be the red Poke Flute wishing he had it master, Kelazur. <laughs> yeah. In the bottom right is the blue Terran. That is major. And Men's he's eat. throwing down double rest. Yeah. This might be because he knows Kelozer is weak to it, or it seems to be weak to it. I think in the last five games, seeing Kelozer go up against a Korean, all the Koreans like two or three racks him, and he, he like kind of died every single time. So um, that might just be his weakness, which is unfortunate because he's kind of a master of it if he does it himself. But oh well. Uh, but this this aside, I was actually. Um, Roots, uh, Topher doll, I guess? The, the guy writes for Root, right? He uh, wrote an article 
about like the type of viewers and their importance to StarCraft Two specifically. Oh, the, the esports thing. Yeah, uh, but yeah, with the context of other esports in his article. And I was just like, all the time that I was reading it, he never specified what organizations were doing what part. He mentioned a couple of personal streamers, I think. But all I could read is like, you know, Base TV got huge props for their contribution. No, sorry. StarCraft 2 got big props for its con um, contributions and how it's mixed uh, in terms of personal versus esports side. And I was like, pretty sure a lot of that's us. I'm just saying. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. I think it's because base JTV streams every single day a bunch of tournaments, so that's fine. I um, I've got I got my personal opinions to keep to myself, I guess. I, I but anyways, uh, Reaper gonna get a couple grenades fired, but unfortunately Kelzer is on the bad end of this. He does lose not just a Reaper yeah. but another SCV, a third one. Commander's not gonna get the finish. Cyclone is on the way, but he's making Marines, and this this has done a little bit too much damage already. Not like game ending, but this is definitely gonna set Kelzer behind, no matter how well he cleans it up. Like, yeah. Major is starting a command center. Okay, he's behind in that regard, but not by much, because Kelzer's was stalled out for so long. Yeah, um, it could have done a little bit more damage already, I think, if, if uh, Ma Major, <laughs> confused by his name, was a little bit more aggressive initially, but it's still doing so much damage. It's like a game-winning position at this point. Even the Cyclone coming out, the, if the Reapers leave and then come back and the Cyclone's like a second out of position, that's going to be another five SCVs killed right there. You know, we haven't uh, we haven't had a good title T in a while. Let me, let me do this to help you guys out in stream. Is this the first time he's used this name, I guess? So, sounds about right. Uh, uh, another thing that you might fall behind on if you go for more than one Rax Reaper is technology. Uh, and that is something that Major has fallen behind a little bit on. But, like, only like a tiniest amount. Like, he's getting one Cyclone now while Kelzer's getting his second Cyclone. But, so he's even getting his Starport faster as Kelzer can't afford it. <laughs> so. No, Major even takes uh, a lead in that department too, and it's just, I don't know, being up 10 workers is, is probably going to lead him to a, a potential push to win situation in like three minutes. Doesn't quite get that mule, but, you know, takes a trip out of it. <laughs> I love watching the corpses go flying. It gives me some sort of weird guilty pleasure. But yeah, uh, down, was that, like 11 workers, 10 workers, Kelezer is certainly feeling the burn of this opener. And for Major, what, what I actually like was this wasn't so committed. This wasn't like three racks, this wasn't proxied, this was just Reapers on the pressure, I guess, to deal damage, and they certainly did. Yeah. They did its, they did its job, and, and then some. There are some times where that middle of the road type of play really fails for you like they get away with their one racks expand perfectly fine because your reapers aren't coming that fast or that aplenty uh and then there's times where it's absolutely perfect and you did like an okay amount of damage but because you expanded behind it you're actually like in a super big uh lead so this push oh, it doesn't quite the, look game ending but is it's, this, it's coming is the space shark not moving its shadow isn't moving at least Space Shark is taking a break. He's just dead <laughs> floating on the water, guys. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, God. All right. Uh, Major comes in for the attack. Two Cyclones for two Cyclones. But the thing is, Kelzer's Marines are not with the front of the army. And a little oh, bit of no. micro capabilities with that medevac is going to help out a lot. SCVs really get thrown bad. into the fire. He wants to repair that Cyclone, but it's not going to happen. It goes down. And now, I don't know if Kelzer can necessarily hold this. But catch those Cyclones on the backside, which is a good start, though. Yeah, it looks like he'll be able to hold this. I mean, at least he has the end of back, right? It's like, it's like holding him with air quotes, though. I mean, he's down to 25 workers to 44. TVT, we've talked about it before. Workers are not usually that big of a deal, but in the early game, they still are. And that's, yeah, I'd say 10 is kind of the cap of like, eh, this is recoverable. Like, if it gets more than that at this point in the game, it's very questionable. Uh, what really is accelerating, though, like for for Major, I don't know why I'm being so took up here by Mint's being, uh <laughs> But for Major is that not only did his economy get a boost, but like his technology got a boost. The Starport was so late by Kelazur. He should have had that Raven out helping that defense from the get-go. And then of course his production has fallen behind and his actual upgrades have fallen behind. So it really is it is that snowball effect. And Kelazur is missing a lot of those very important units that help you bring yourself back as a Terran. And I'm talking mostly Medivacs for drops and Stim for better drops. <laughs> Like, those are usually the tools that get you back in here. This Raven can only do so much putting on auto turrets on major side of the map. Yeah, on a fairly decent cooldown, too, based on the energy cost. But uh, Marines, uh, for major, there's not really a lot of contest here in the main. Kelzer left a couple units here, I suppose. 
Major oh, section focus on the Viking. Gone, if Major saves these, oh there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You. Little too much Dude. done in that early game. Ah, uh, we got a couple of resubs, by the way. Thank you very much to old b or no, nope, excuse me, those are follows. Well, we did get a new resub. Zarfield just now for 26 months. Yay! Thanks for coming back for some more. But uh, yeah, that, that game did not go well for Kelzer. But the thing that's just a, such a damn shame about it is that was like a that was a build order thing. For a while, I would say like that was the biggest dynamic of TVT. Like you actually had that two racks be game ending in a lot of situations. This wasn't like immediately game ending, but it did so much damage that it was, I think, like on the path to be the end of the game for Kelzer right from the get go. If he had done everything right after that initial attack, maybe he brings it back. That's probably what he was he was hoping. Yeah, I mean, Kelsey's a good player. I, if if he's gonna stick it in the game, he's not doing it because he's like desperate and crazy and doesn't know what to do. Like he actually thinks he has a chance. So it's a bit unfortunate. Um, but game two is gonna be on Paladino. You know what? I said we wouldn't do map intros, but I love this one too much not to do. So we'll get into it and see you guys in a moment. All right, welcome back. Game number two in this best of five. Winner goes on to play against Scarlet. Loser falls to play against Cloudy. This is an all-in-house tournament for the Base Trade TV Korea House. And in the top left side, we've got the red Terran player from Root Gaming, Kelazur. In the bottom right is the blue Terran. He is major. And uh, I think that, yeah, that first game may have been a little bit rough for Kelazur. Uh, I've got faith in him to play a pretty good TVT though. We'll see. We'll see how this turns around. The other day though, we saw an equally rough, we'll say TVT with uh, versus Gumiho in the wildcard group. If you guys recall, uh -huh. it was like a seven-minute series in a best of three, and Kelzer got shut down pretty hard. Uh, little simple mistakes just compiled very quickly. So there, there is a fairly decent chance that this matchup is just his Achilles heel right now. We see it oh. all the time. Players come and go. Like some players are really amazing at TVT one week and then. Next week, they're just not good for whatever reason. It was because of the early Rax Reapers. So it might be the matchup overall. It might be the fear of Reapers that makes the matchup overall bad for him. But um, it definitely has to do with the Reapers. Because if he takes a normal TVT, he'll hold up against even the best Korean Terrans till like the late game where he makes one bad decision type deal. And that's why he's uh, almost always so close <laughs> to being this this really really great player, but he needs to, to push a little bit more. Uh, it's probably the terminal, so of course you're going to be scared of uh, multiple reapers with just any type of aggression early on. So seeing them both go for one base makes a lot of sense. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to think on this too. Like, if Kells are like hypothetically, let's say he is just absolutely scared, quakes in his boots at the thought of two racks reaper, right? Like, just he's dead to reapers all the time, always. I'm surprised he doesn't try and do it himself more often, I guess, in, in the matchup. Yeah, right. But sticks to his guns, still plays pretty standard, and goes for that factory. I mean, I, I really don't love that Reapers are a necessity in this matchup. Like, you can't you can't even afford to skip one. Like, the thing is, if you skip one, you risk losing the game just because your opponent may have even made just one, right? These units can get out of hand very quickly. Uh, but he is just going to keep up with that necessity and make sure that he's not going to get caught off guard. So Cyclone on the way, and he's, he's just perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Major is going for a Hellion as opposed to a Cyclone, which can chase the Reapers a little bit better. And does have a little bit of splash, but that's, yeah, whatever. Um, but I do usually put the Cyclone as a better unit overall. And it gets it to the same place, just about, when it comes to the Starport, too. There's oh. the addition of the Cyclone, though, for Major. I never realized there's, a, there's like a dead mule over here. Rest in peace, buddy. Someone landed you wrong. Why can't you repair a dead mule and put it back to mining? Because it's not low on health, it's dead. But it's a, you know, it's a bot, you know, like, <laughs> it doesn't is it die, though? it can always be repaired. Is it though? Because it could just simply be like a matter of AI and it's actually dead, dog. What? What? Do is androids this dream of electric, of electric sheep? You can repair an android though. Like, that's. Yeah, easier than an androids. Apple. Androids were repaired in Dragon Ball Z. I get you. You went with the 
you want the, I get you. Anyways, uh, the Cyclones are out now for both players. So again, like this Hellion looks kind of like almost useless in a way. Just took a couple of shots in the Cyclone. That, that grenade actually, enough. that helps kill us quite a bit. That got the army much closer and in range to shoot more units. That worked out really well. He chases Major back, but an auto turret and this Cyclone, two Cyclones now especially, this should be able to hold. Oh, Kelzer's got to be careful though. I like that he pulls back because if he were to lose his Cyclones there, he wouldn't be able to hold a counter very easily. It'd be difficult, but the Banshee would also, uh, might be enough. You without Cloak, Cyclone, just don't do a lot of anti-air damage. So, Major even goes for a third Cyclone, which seems oh. a little excessive, but so did Kelazur. You know what I just realized? What? When that movie comes out, Ghost in the Shell, we might know why you can't repair oh, Daniels. Uh, I saw the preview for that when I watched X-Men, or Logan, and I just, I don't think it looks very good. Um, anyway. As someone who was a fan of the anime, I did like the idea of it, but yeah, it wasn't presented super well, in my opinion. Not through the trailer, at least. Yeah, exactly. Maybe the trailer was just bad, so... I don't know. Mmm... I'll start so it doesn't stand up against the Cyclone DPS. No, but it's interesting to see that he did go for a third Cyclone, by the way. Uh, not yeah, that these units are super good. expensive, but... Actually, uh, side note, did you watch Nate's video he put out today? Talking about, like, uh, some changes and stuff? Yeah. Well, he's talking about, like, well, there's one cool aspect that's actually relevant to TVT. We're talking about, like, make a tank eight cargo, so you can't, like, do crazy doom, doom drops and stuff, right? And I would oh, love yeah. that. But more to the point, I didn't know this. I know so many dumb facts about this game, and I didn't know this until Nate talked about it in the video. You know, Cyclone has more health than a tank? If you told me to guess, I probably would have guessed that it did, because it lasts so long nowadays. Yeah, it's got five I, more I health know. than a tank. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. It's going to be feeling. <laughs> Well, anyways, I just think percent of the answers right. It's really interesting though because I still see it as a very fragile unit, but then in contrast, the tank must be as well. But it doesn't ever seem to be as fragile, you know. Oh, I always, I've always considered the tank kind of a fragile unit, just because when I think of tanks, I think of tanks being obliterated by other tanks. <laughs> I'm like, oh, those died so quickly they tried to siege them up. I'm so bad at this matchup. Well, especially now with what the <laughs> 70 damage, when it used to be like 30 or something silly. Oh, yeah, that's, that's just me though. I'm All right. Both Ravens do have energy for auto turrets, so we can lay those down and take on the siege tank if necessary. I think Major's defense here looks like it should be pretty solid, but he actually does this without pairing it up, so these auto turrets don't accomplish much. He does win the Viking War to push this back, so high ground vision will be in his favor, and that might just be enough to push Kelzer back. Yeah. I would say that Major just has better units right now. You know, like he has two tanks equal to two tanks, two cyclones, two ravens, and a viking. Like that, that air is actually gonna really help him. So I don't know if Kelzer's ever really gonna find that weak of a point, but he does scan and see that the tanks are already sieged far away from this point. So he takes a chance, and the auto turrets, you know, there's not a lot of them. There's none of them actually for Major. Yeah, but the problem is for Kelzer, there's like no buffer for his units so without marines on well, the front lines without much he is pushed back he did kill 13 scvs which is yeah. notable but his army also got wrecked in the process yeah but it was needy enough trade for the mate for both armies here and the vikings could yeah, exactly try and snipe the ravens if they die to the vikings but kill both ravens then i think it's absolutely worth it one viking for one raven is also pretty worth it and the viking just disengages by the way i just want to go on the record and note that i gave credit to whom I was talking about. Oh my god, I, can we just talk? <laughs> can we talk? I, I guess we could it. talk. You know what? We'll do it in a break. <sighs> it's so silly, I can't believe it. <laughs> this is what he wanted, Rifkin! <laughs> I'm just I'm just so mad that I never got tweeted that. Like, it, it, we found it by accident, you know? Like, it wasn't it wasn't something brought up on Reddit. <laughs> it wasn't something... Anyways, you guys are going to get mad because we're being cryptic. I'll explain what we're talking about later. Uh, Viking fight about to go down. Kelzer does have better Vikings, but the auto turret can change that. There we go. Backs away. Comes back in now for round two. The uh, If there was that second Raven, I think this would actually be devastating for Kelzer, but only one Raven's mm -hmm. kind of manageable. Auto turret yep. almost ready to go. Major's lost his air control. Same problem he's going to be presented with. Kelzer just was as well. They'll have to back away from this. There's a lot of very even exchanges going on in this game, which is uh, a lot more. Yeah, what is this, alchemy? No, but Gee. I was going to start mentioning that, of course, Major's been down 13 workers most of this time. So while his stim was perfectly timed out and he was only down 10 army supply, yeah, that third base was going to be really far behind. So he just kind of taps out. And so. ties things up one to one, more importantly. So game three coming up, and we'll find out what map. I guess, uh, or it's, it was. Proxima. Yeah, Proxima. 
Uh, so I don't know. When do you want to get? On, do you want to talk about this now? Do you want to wait till the series is done? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> wait till the series is done then, because I don't want to. I don't want to distract from the games. Uh, so again, the order of matches, by the way, guys, is we're doing this preliminary match number two now. Goes to the losers match afterwards. So the loser of this versus Cloudy, and then the winners match of Major or Kelzer versus Scarlet. But seeing as that last intro didn't seem to break things, I'll try and bust out this one for Proxima. I'm really sad because I, I, I worked so hard to make sure that we had all original music or music we had like properly licensed and like did all the map intros correctly. So it bummed me out when we uh, started having our VODs muted by Twitch. And I'm really frustrated that they haven't responded to uh, any of the emails I sent. They don't care about you unless you're Total Biscuit. All right. Or someone equally as big. Uh, just waiting on Kelzer to ready up and we'll hop into it. All right, see you guys here in a second for Proxima Station. The one time the Terran intro actually works when well, we've got a bunch of Terran playing some StarCraft 2. Game number three underway in this best of five. In the bottom left, it is the red Terran player. Don't let his name fool you. It's Major. Oh, that feel when you have the Zerg intro. Well. And then the top right is the blue Terran. He is Roots. Kelazor. The Zerg intro, what? Music. I didn't use the Zerg music, did I? I'm pretty sure it's the Terran music. No, I have the Zerg music. Oh. What are you talking about? Uh, anyways, we got a resub coming in here. Thank you so much to Sharp Knees. Ouch. I hope that's okay. 19 months. And then RWH86 for the two months says, Yay, dumb facts. I guess referring to that last game. Of course, um. Uh, that reminder that we have the match arena page going on in the background and if you guys end up loving today if you if you like what you see two bucks 20 bucks 200 bucks however much you're willing to give throw it into the prize pool of the gigantic mega tournament so that we can afford to actually do this i would love to do this more often and we can interchange the players as people come and go again like i can't promise anything but like kelzer and major when they leave we already have a couple folks who are looking to possibly come in and train for gsl after gmac austin things like this so I'm hoping we'll get a good flavor of foreigners, and I would love to keep hosting these sort of matches. Mmm, flavor of foreigners. Sounds like a, you know, calendar. If you were to lick some of these pro players, what do you think they would, what do you think they would taste like? Well, this can't possibly go bad or be super weird. <laughs> okay, if you were to lick Scarlet, what, what do you think she tastes like? Because I would say, like, honestly, cinnamon. I don't even... You know, there's some things like where it's so weird when you say something, but then they say what they're they, they think, and you're like, oh, I can kind of get you. Are you, you know? thinking something really weird right now? Like, I feel like there's a very oh. simple answer out there, and you're trying to hide, trying to say like cat fur. She's gonna taste like cat fur. <laughs> no, I'm trying to say that like I'm just not. On, I can't. I can actually imagine. Like Major would probably taste know, like I a just, taco, right? That's just racist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, Scarlet's gonna taste like poutine. <laughs> it's like fries and gravy. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so Epic gross. meal time, guys. That's so gross. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, both players not doing the double racks. It's it's just you get over that hurdle of like not going Reapers. Factory for the follow ups. And I think with the star ports as well, like, it's going to be another straight up game. And I'm okay with this. What I like seeing was Kelzer obviously got beaten down, uh, beaten down really hard in game one. Uh, game two brought it back in a much more regular sense. And Major, we know, by the way, is not just able to play regular games, but he's been doing mech here and there. Like, he's been, of the Terran players in TVT, willing to branch out and try new things. All good points, but I gotta bring it back. Why Why Cinnamon? You sounded so, like, sure, like, you've thought about this before. Oh, she just has red hair, like Cinnamon. That's really where you go with that? It was, I always it was think supposed cinnamon to be a, brown. Look, here's the thing. This was like a really simple for fun question, not like an in-depth learn about your personality based on the answer type of question. <laughs> like, well, I I don't know. I, I always think a cinnamon is brown, though. Like, is cinnamon supposed to be red? Uh, you know what? You I don't actually know what color of real cinnamon is, but I was thinking like cinnamon hearts, <laughs> like right? Like cinnamon like, sticks. <laughs> They're well, brown. Well, I was thinking like those cinnamon hearts you get on like Valentine's Day that are disgusting. Oh, those are probably because they're for Valentine's Day, man. Dude, well, the point is that they're red, and that's the but associated I do color. About it. Okay, okay. Well, I, I guess I can kind of see your cinnamon thing better, though. No. <laughs> anyway, um, 
In this Proxima Station, we're going to have a lot of drops. Right now, it's just one Medivax worth for both players, but if this goes to three bases, like it probably uh, will. No medium drops. There's going to be a little bit of awkwardness here that reminds me of Banshee versus Banshee, where because Kelizer is going to get to drop first, Major might not have it as successful of a drop because he has to pay more attention at home to defend against this. And while doing so, Kelizer may have no problem whatsoever. Major's not even close to the base. Mm. What am I just going to borrow? Uh, honestly, saving that for the Marines may have been a better hit, but regardless, SCDs right. are pulled one way or the other, and Kelzer gets some damage done through this. Major now heading towards the main and Kelzer, but he's already on top uh -oh. of this with a Cyclone. Locks onto the Medivac, gives chase back on the other side. Medivac's going to boost away, and looks like it might just barely survive. What am I also did not get killed? There's the scan. All right, back on Kelzer's side of the base. It was not nearly as hectic. He hasn't lost, like, any SCVs to this so far, and the Vikings on top of that medevac. So Major is kind of at an end for his damage here with these four Marines. Yeah, that, that, uh, not as much as Kelzer. Uh, and shouldn't do as much. Okay, no. <laughs> the Marines finally die. Uh, uh, but it wasn't so know, devastating to put one or other in, like, <clears throat> really good positions. Up if, only two workers. If Major had actually successfully killed that medevac... And they had still gone the same way. I would actually not mind how this went for Major so much, but uh, the fact that Kelzer got that medevac alive is going to be so annoying. Uh, combined with the fact that they're both moving to some Raven production, I would imagine they both go double Ravens, but the point is Kelzer's got the gas, having saved that medevac, to, like he can more easily get the second Raven out, more justified get the second Raven out. Mm, that's a good point. Uh, it just looked like Kelzer getting a, you know that little bit faster production here. Uh, pretty equal on the third bases, but that stem even started right now too. It does put him, give him a lot of good leads. But as I said, like if it was the third third bases, I doubt these are all going to contribute to something really specifically hit. There's not going to be a timing. It's probably just going to be more about getting a good drop or two in. So I would like to apologize to Scarlet for okay. zombie grub mislabeling what you would taste like as a disgusting poutine. She's Canadian. You guys aren't known for anything else. I would she also like, like to a... apologize for my partner's racism, blatant and obvious through her American heritage. She doesn't know better, and the ignorance is really shining through right now. You're one to talk. Like, go with maple syrup. Go with something like, nobody says, oh, you know what, flavor-wise, poutine, Canada. Uh-huh. That's what I think of when I think of weird Canadian things. I'm like, Canada always, you know, they kind of like jump on the, the make fun of American food train. Not the ones Yo, who started it because they're nice. If, if they we... jump on it. And they have fucking poutine. If we as people have to taste like weird Canadian things or like weird like nationalistic things, I would be proud to be flavored like all dressed chips. Oh God. <laughs> no. This is terrible. God, no. You know what? Though if, if someone tasted like ice caps, I'd actually be totally in favor. <laughs> ice caps are pretty delicious. Timmy. Those Hose! are pretty good. Those right. are pretty good. We got Three, almost enough energy for four auto turrets through these ravens as they come across the map. Major does have marines split all over the place looking for this, but Kelzer will find a blind, a blind spot. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll go for the SCVs. Maybe he wants to throw those on the tanks. Either way, three auto turrets can get some serious <laughs> damage done. They're just going to fly right on by. I don't... That wasn't on purpose. And Only unfortunately, to die to the, the Vikings. Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Vikings have popped out pretty well timed. So okay. this is just awkward. It is, because Kelzer is going to... Essentially, he lost one Raven for nothing, and then the other one gets away without having done anything, and it's got a lot of energy on it, too. Uh, Major, by the way, I guess uh, he did end up going for that second Raven. I wasn't sure if he was going to. Again, the gas count, but uh, both of these still alive, albeit barely. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I know it's it's probably not going to matter that much, losing that Raven and have another one just run away like that, but it, it, it just it always feels like it could end the game if you use those Ravens correctly. Yeah, uh, I think this was really evident best seen recently through time and, and TY, but through other just generic TVTs, Ravens let you break the tank lines, and I think that's where it comes down to. Oh, this is like... Stupid Raven Wars. This is the dumbest Raven. He did kill the other one at least, so it wasn't so bad. But anyways, like two to three auto turrets let you stim in. They let you reposition your tanks. You know, it, it's a big deal when trying to break somebody in a really entrenched, super defensive position. So not having any Ravens anymore for Kelzer really sucks. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. This this one for major shouldn't do much more than just an auto turret. Auto turret every now and then, maybe five SCVs every now and then. But I mean, you know, add it up, that can actually be a big deal. I don't know why Kelzer has a medevac just chilling. That's kind of a even big mistake. You know, if he's like looking maybe doing a doom drop, he thinks he's never enough medevacs. He does. The real question is, is that the one from earlier that he saved though? 
I think so. I think it was being it's repaired, full, and that's well, why it's over here. Yeah, it's got full energy, right? Like uh, these new meta bags <laughs> wouldn't have. So, hmm. oh, that's kind of funny. Middle of the map takes control, though. Scans to see what's outside the front base. Four siege tanks is certainly not a site you really want to see in terms of, like, breaking. And he doesn't have enough medevacs. Big scout for Major 2. There's not enough medevacs to really doom drop the main by any means. Yeah, but, like, mm, again, if he had a third medevac, it might have been more tempting. But with two, yeah, definitely not. Uh, sensor towers are set up really nicely, too. So he'll see, like, th this actually almost reaches the corner of the map. So he'll see anything where Kelzer tries to sneak on by or take a, a big left turn. A big left turn because there's roads and starcraft you know right. what it's not limited to roads you could be in the air where there's no roads and take a left turn in fact did you know that if you take enough left turns you go right oh my god man wait a second <laughs> oh uh, no. <laughs> nicely positioned marine off to the side sees those medevacs but kill i feel is not positioning correctly to catch them he, he knows where they are he sees it very clearly I guess confident that a tank and uh, I guess the reinforcing marines will, will hold? Uh, probably. It's Just a dangerous game to play, man. Of course it is in TDT, but that'll turn out fine. So you're talking about Korean barbecue in chat. Turns out there are not just one, not two, but three Korean barbecues within walking distance of my place. Well, that makes sense though, right? Because you talked about how Vancouver has like a large Asian population. Yeah, and what can, if anyone else here has lived in Vancouver for a long time? <laughs> can you explain to me why is like every second shop a hair salon? There can't possibly be that many people needing haircuts. But I'm not talking like there's like three shops next door to each other. And I'm being hyperbolic. There's literally like seven hair salons all within the same strip where I live. You gotta be, you know, some don't do very good hair coloring. Some some have like a massage in it too. Others just like mostly just, for like uh I imagine it's like <laughs> much darker and it's know, just man. like money laundering fronts. So it's like, <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter how much money your business they get. For that. Yeah. I I don't know, man. I can't exp I can't explain it, but um I didn't realize that uh, major is just only getting combat shields. <laughs> That's kind of awkward. But it's on now. Yeah, uh, upgrades are actually a pretty big disparity. Kellister's already done his 2-2, two -two, so he's going to get a nice fight here with the Marines because of this. It's not going to be like the difference of like 3-3 three, three versus 2-2, two -two, but it is that difference of having upgrades for now. And He's not going to quite catch Major. Had he been able to get a fight in the middle of the map, though, Kellister would have taken such a good engagement, regardless of that tank count. Mm. Still kind of surprised at the lack of Doom Drops. Even with the Sensor Towers, it's almost always going to be a good enough move to, to do it, but that might, you know, <laughs> speaking of the devil... As Major moves in offensively to the front, that might just prompt Kelzer to think the only thing he can do is Doom Drop because he's going to have to take so much time oh God, just his... walking over to his <gasps> third. Oh. We both look hiccup at the same time, man. That was super weird. Uh, <laughs> fourth base does go down for Major. Major does try to back at the third now. He was given an extra, like, seven seconds to try and prepare for this. Uh-huh. Yo, Kelzer is just up at the top of the ramp. Major's going to go through a choke, but he picks up the meta and can just drop on top of said tanks. Kelzer doesn't have the buffer, so... Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a base trade TV subscriber, let's do some ace ones and ace twos in chat because we are in full on base trade mode. Oh, it's it's looking better for Major in every way. Yeah, I think Kelzer was not aggressive or fast enough, or took the control of the main fast enough, and that like that is definitely the biggest problem. And that was one part being out of position just slightly, and two parts him I think just you know responding everywhere. And taking so long to do exactly what Major did, which is pick up his Marines he, and drop on the tanks. Two tanks took out so much of his army on the high a, ground. There's a key difference of what's going on, though. It's kind of funny. Like, I, I really don't think this will go much better for Kelzer. But he does have this base up. It's a planetary at that, and he's got a pretty nice setup around it. Uh, but I don't think there's going to be any save in the main. There's no question about that. Problem is, Kelzer may not have broken Major's main, but Major doesn't have that extra base hiding and mining. Mm. So I'm really mm -hmm. curious how income is going to work on this. Because Kelser's production is getting wrecked right now. He's trying to build as many Marines in the back of the base, trade out best he can, I guess, on the way out. But like he is dying. Yeah, I think if he had started his production right now around his third base, or like somewhere really secret, he might still be able to bring it back. Especially if he could save a factory or two. But he's not really using his production, even though it's not quite all dead yet. Hmm. Interesting game, production versus economy, right now, I guess. And I mean, if, Major doesn't have much production; he doesn't have much economy. If Kelzer had like one starport over here, I would feel infinitely better about this position right now. But Major scouts this; he now knows what's going on. 
Uh, Kelzer is denying Major from mining. I mean, like, to be perfectly clear, Major is on his last three mineral patches. He needs a base somewhere. But Kelzer, he could have all the money in the world. It won't matter if he's A, supply blocked, and then B, has no production buildings. But everything is just him turtling up at the main, trying to get one last glorious fight. Major has a Liberator. I'm surprised he hasn't tried pushing down the ramp yet with it. I think he could break this, but he's really focused on this front line. Yeah. Kelzer has so many Marines. I... I actually don't know how this goes, because if he takes out the frontline Marines of Major, and kills even a couple of those Vikings... Oh, he's just going to pick up and leave? Okay. I thought oh, he was going to try okay. and break Major on the defense. Like, one last he needs, hurrah. He needs to be faster about it, though, because now he just has half of an army. He's kind of going around. How good is Major at counting, though? Face. He got a good scan. Did he realize that there's a pickup? He realized it a little bit late. Kells is going to go for the break, but he's also a little eh. bit slow to the party. That's GG, yeah. well played. G So, game number three goes in the favor of Major here in this best of five. We're going to go to a small commercial break in a moment, but uh, Secretaries of Kill asks in chat, so does Base Ray TV have to subscribe to themselves? The answer is yes, but also they should. you're not supposed to. Newer subscribers don't have to, but they never fixed our thing. So I'm sub to our own channel to get fucking emotes. It's really stupid, and I hate it. So thanks for bringing it up. Anyways, we'll see you guys here in two minutes. Sit tight for more games when we return. All right, folks, thanks for watching that break. Uh, I will say that I am pretty confident that the Twitch timer was broken. Yeah, it just went from 47 seconds remaining to none. So, cool Twitch dashboard. Good to know you're working. But we're going to hop into game number four. And uh, Major and Kelzer may have the series end if Major can secure another victory. The map is going to be Cactus Valley. And we're ready whenever they are. Also, shout out to thank you to Far Falcon for doing the Mega Command. Again, link you to our Match Arena page where we are collecting a prize pool for a really big event. And alongside this, we have other cool little goals along the way. And one of those goals is putting aside some money to host tournaments and events like this on the more regular instead of like once off and make it a little bit show matchy. So if you got a couple of bucks in your pocket, if you're feeling willing and generous guys, we'd really appreciate it. Some of you guys don't use Match Arena, and if you haven't watched the video to find out, uh, we are actually still funneling all donations from the channel to that fundraiser. So if you donate like $10 here at the end of the stream, we just drop it off over on Match Arena for you. But I'm not going to swap the nameplates around, guys, just because Major's name's here on, on the bottom, so do forgive me. He is in the top left, however, up 2-1, to one, the blue Terran player, Major. In the bottom right is the red Terran. He is Roots Kelazor. Uh, Zarfield wants to know if there's a delay on for today, and the answer to that is no. Yay! We actually get to hang out with you guys in real time. And a big Hi. part of this is because all four of the players competing today are in our house in Korea. They're not going to be cheating against each other, and I don't think they would anyways, even if they weren't all in the same location at the same time playing. Except for, too much credit, man. See, except for that No Regret guy. Uh, actually, and Scarlet. We actually have proof. Scarlet and No Regret do stream cheat. Oh, that's right. We have first-hand yeah, experience. Yeah, but only against, you know, only when they're against superior players that they have to. Yeah, sure. If that's how you want to make yourself feel better, go ahead. That is how I want to make myself feel better. <laughs> <laughs> that was a... I, I was, like, drunk during it. Yeah, you were pretty wasted for that. It, it did not go so well. Uh, thank wasted you to... is strong. I did not throw up that night. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Just make that clear. Fair enough. Uh, thank you, Valpos Dorser, by the way, for the two-month resub. Glad to have you back on board, Base Trade Brigade. Uh, Base Trade TV, please raise your hand so we can prove there are no delays. Okay. My hand is in the air. Can you see it? Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> They're all types of up right now. <laughs> Speaking of up, turning it up to twenty-seven with Darth Silius. Thank you for that reset. Oh, teach me your segue ways. <laughs> your segues. <laughs> well, I watched a lot of Paul Blart, and uh, got a lot of Jesus. inspiration from there. Oh God! <laughs> now I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> the greatest mall cop of all time. Seriously, seriously. Did you, did you watch the movie, the second one? Did the I sequel? watch it? I have uh -huh. like eleven copies of it, Zombie Grove. <laughs> the VHS tape included. <laughs> <laughs> good to know, man. Both of them. It, it, it's it's a it's a good time. Paul Bart one and two, Mall cops back to back. Oh god. Anyway, I I really don't like that actor. Is it Kevin James? Is his name? 
I'm okay with Kevin James, but he does he does end up in a lot of very bad shows and bad movies, in my opinion. But yeah. like to be honest, it, I I actually really was not a big fan of Adam Sandler movies growing up, like Little Nicky and stuff. I know people loved. I was not that big of a fan really? of. But as he's kind of gotten older and they start doing these more just like almost comedians hanging out with the theme of a movie. It's almost like what we do for StarCraft, right? Like David Spade, oh God, Adam so Sandler, real. Kevin James. They, they get together and the guys of a movie, just like we have the guys of a tournament, this is an excuse oh. for them to hang out. I, I like those movies. I, I don't. I'm on the complete opposite train here, which makes me just like, oh, no, don't compare us that to that. Sounds I like those movies suck. One okay. friend being on the opposite train, that sounds like a plot to one of those movies. <laughs> But like those movies suck, but I actually I I like the dumb movies they do in his early like Little Nicky was so stupid, but I loved it, man. That's weird. And, uh, how how happy, we are uh, the flip on that one, I guess. Isn't it though? Because like I you think I didn't like any of these dumb movies? Since I'm always saying I don't like whatever other you know ones what? exist. Th this explains so much to me right now with your personality. Like, hates Monty Python, loves Little Nicky, and I'm just like, oh god, you are a pleb. Hates you know <laughs> Super Troopers, loves Happy Gilmore. I don't know. I can understand hating Super Troopers. It is a different type of humor, but like objectively speaking, Monty Python is just great. You're the only person in my entire life I've ever met who doesn't like Monty Python. I just don't get it, man. I just don't. I'm sorry. It's for Maybe smart it's people. It's for though. smart people who don't you know what? watch Little Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Oh, God. Anyway, I actually want to talk to you about another series you should watch, but maybe the next time we have some downtime is Kelzer did try and do a one base opener, and it kind of has officially failed here, uh, not doing any damage other than taking out one or two units, but not even like in a, a very even trade. He's going to get his SUV potentially delayed. Oh, uh, no. I think that first shot had to have hit the SUV. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. That was so close. But, um, still. So you could have saved that if you just delayed his orbital ever so slightly, but uh, Kelzer does get to think with said Banshee, and the Cyclone, of course, is taking about a million years to kill it because, well, right, Cyclones nice. are well designed. Yeah. I would say seven is like a pretty perfect amount for a Banshee, especially without Cloak. So, oh, that was that was a nice follow up. That helped the fact that his frontal push didn't do very much, and now puts him in a decent position as he does also have a third CC on the way. But up, oh, Major does drop into the main base, and now Kelzer. Might just lose seven SCVs. Uh, maybe not. Oh, no, not or none. Like the Raven was a little too threatening with the auto turret, so Major had to get out of there. He wants to be able to bait it and still save everything, which he does. Uh, but now the units are here, so he has to find some other place to unload. <clears throat> oh God. Why do they bring up things that I don't like? We're gonna lose subs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> This is well. You know what, though. At the same time, though, we can talk about Zombie Rep's integrity. She's not gonna fake it. She's not gonna lie for <laughs> your guys' entertainment. She's talking the real talk and how it is. Where she doesn't like popular things. Yep. Yep. I'm a true. I'm a hipster. See, See I now just made me sound like a fucking hipster. Thanks. I put I put a positive spin on it. Go grab a sun hat. You can be a hipster later. Uh, Cyclone runs into the natural base, and this is not gonna get that much, unfortunately. Uh, it, it, so excuse me, major runs of the natural base, colors reverse, blah blah blah. But uh, Kelzer holds on, and it's like back in this drop, major gets a couple more kills. Ultimately, though, the worker count close. Third base is kind of similar. The difference is one's on location, one's finished a bit sooner. So like all in all, this ends up evening up a little bit with the key difference being major has a bit of an army supply lead. Oh, Kelzer is also kind of mismackering right now. Uh, yeah, I think he should definitely have had those barracks down sooner. Which, yeah, it doesn't seem that important, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> but, like, 600 minerals, imagine how many more, like, facilities he'd have producing in, like, a minute here. Now they'll only be finishing in a minute instead. And he still isn't spending that money. Hmm. hmm. Okay, now Jeremy's coming down, and now more barracks, blah, blah, blah. And it's it's small things here. Uh, and really, this game has been, I guess, about a lot of small things. And they both kind of equalized. One drop to another drop. A Banshee does damage, and the... Marines do damage. Fortunately, this Raven's not going to do very much damage. It's going to kill that supply depot. <laughs> I'm starting to get. Uh, well, canceling's pretty good too, but you know, whatever. I really wonder why Kelzer isn't spending monies. Yeah, he is banking a lot, and it's. It, I thought for. 
Thank you, whoever that was, for yelling in my ears. I'll look at that in a second. I was going to say, because he's supply blocked, and that's a really hard reality with that, uh, you know, the deep up here getting delayed, the extra two coming down mm. now. Like, he was banking a lot of money because there just was no actual way to make anything. That was pretty recent, though. Like, it, it, just, it just felt like maybe... Oh. Oh, he's probably again for a couple of seconds, but this is all... It's really starting to add up just <laughs> because he didn't add on those earlier barracks earlier on. He's going to, of course, have a difficult time <clears throat> making units again as, as time grub. goes on. I need you to do me a favor with your hands real quick. Why? What? Uh, take them out hold them out in front of you. And press them together. And then do this again in rapid succession. As we thank Valpo's Dorser... For the forty dollars coming in, says thank right? you for the late night stream. Well, thank you for tuning in oh, and okay. that generosity that we will, of course, be funneling over to the fundraiser after the stream's all said and done. So that that money's going towards more content creation. You did good, sir. You did good, oh, kid. My. Oh, Kelzer is just maybe <laughs> like you know he, he had a cup of coffee and then it wore off real quick, like so now it's when it's starting to hit him and she's like, oh my god, I don't want to play anymore. Or alternatively, maybe, maybe he's minerals. what if he's still waking up? What if he hasn't well, he had doing, the coffee yet? But he was doing fine last two games. Was the the whole thing? Like maybe it was like so a weird. particular movie where somebody takes a green something and injects it into themselves, gets really hard and good to go for about ten minutes, the and Hulk? then starts dying afterwards. No, a recent movie, a recent movie that we both saw that I can't give spoilers of. I'm not shot about. Anyway. Uh, this is really quite bad. I mean, Major also is having a bit of a dip here as he <clears throat> probably is waiting for his upgrades to finish. But oh, this is just, not. It's... He's got to lift this. That's taking way too much damage. This is really snowballed, and not just because Kelzer took a bit of damage early on. It was a, a lot because he just wasn't Major... using his money. <laughs> his Major Major's wrecking the main right now. Like, there's there's not even a question about this. He picked off that tank really easily. Picks up to get out of here. Command Center is actually burning, by the way. No repairs on this. No SCVs on the ground. He's moving on the left side, too. Maybe not as big of an army, but Kelizer is just struggling to get anything done right now. Yeah, yeah, he really is. His upgrades are well enough time. Combat shields, 2-2 two, two are in the same, same start as Majors, but his army is really taking a hit. He still doesn't have his production chugging along to even utilize all this this money. He's getting liberators, which I think is a nice move to try and break this contain. But this contain would also start contributing to, if not his mineral bank, because he already has a bank, but his gas bank is really hurting now too. It's actually been hurting this entire time, uh, really. But I, I don't <clears> know why he would choose to land that. I wanted to break it, but I thought he was gonna wait for the liberator to break it. Ah, uh, the tanks with that scan, get the upper hands. He's actually gonna kill the tanks. Majors three still standing, another shot fired, loses one of the tanks, but picks up and goes to the main. If this starts killing reactors, that's good. If he kills these SCVs, that'd be amazing. But he should be able to take a better fight because the Marines at hand are just not good enough to fight against Major. This is a, uh, this started like three minutes ago, this, this downfall. This is really, really snowballed now. This is, I don't know if there's any way he's really gonna be coming back. Especially if his throat gets broken. The Liberators can't really help out against Marines that much. No, his army gets absolutely wrecked. And that's going to be... There's no way that's not going to be gambling. If that command center goes down, there's no recovering from this. Tanks bl obliterating the SCVs. Income graph has been major, major, major for the last long time. And this is looking pretty grim for Kelizer. Yeah. Also, just like looking at the army size, too. The graph for once. Who <laughs> uses the graph? But, uh... Yeah, he definitely started taking that lead. Oh, wow. A while ago. You know what? The thing, too, is I'd say right about here is probably when we were talking about that supply block, and you guys can just see how oh, how sure. devastating that can be. Like, Kelzer was totally on the same upswing as Major, but he just could never catch up because he was supply blocked for so long. Had, as you point out, was it like 1,500 minerals waiting? Yeah. Like, it was supply block, and just, and also, like, I'm pretty sure the way that it goes, unless you're trying to compensate for losing a lot of SCDs, is that. It's like seven barracks on <clears throat> max out two base saturation, or if you're on the way to get a third. And he was still on five at the end of this game. But <laughs> by then, he had used up all his banks, so it didn't matter. Well, for Major, that's going to be really nice. Uh, but that also could be really bad. This sends him to fight off against yeah. Scarlet in the winner's match. That will not be the next game. The next game will be Kelizer versus Cloudy, then Major versus Scarlet, then the grand finals of the group. So. Still three best of fives coming at you. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the hiccups earlier, but uh, we'll continue through here in just a moment. Uh, we'll all, I guess, just take this time to play an ad break. Unless, do you want to talk about that thing first? Oh, that's right. 
<laughs> if you want to talk about it, you do. Well, I feel like you're the one who broke the story to me, so I'll I'll let you break it to the fans as I just sit here with my hand on my palm. All right. I don't even remember this guy's name, so I can't even like contribute the story. But I uh, I had responded to a comment on one of my YouTube videos, and basically like TLDR, it got into this thing where he kind of felt offended and he got mad at me. Which is kind of how I expected it to go, to be honest. But anyways, um, so just out of curiosity, I look at his YouTube because he had brought up the fact that he did like a couple of videos, and I'm looking at his YouTube. I'm looking, and there's a video entitled like "Co-op Rifting Steals My Builds" or something like that, and I was like, <laughs> "No way!" So I click on it, and he legitimately thinks that Rifkin steals his co-op builds. Like, so, he has, like, Rifkin's videos up while he talks over him about what he does, and... I don't know, man. So... <laughs> just to address this, I actually, the first thing I did when I saw this was I went through and I looked at the date in which he released his videos, and I released ours. Because I was like, maybe, like, maybe I can just prove him wrong by saying my video was out first. But I can't. Like, he actually had all of his videos out, like, the day of the mutation type thing. We would always wait a day or two. But, like... It's so hard to respond to this and digest this information because first off, it's co-op. Like there are, in my opinion, no builds with co-op. There's, there's different paths you can take. For example, depending on what commander you're playing, AIs hit you at certain times. You know these times and you know where they're coming from every time. You just, you literally, you can plan around that, right? So you're like, look, I can either go one way or another way, but the point is both paths lead to the same AI attack heading us in the same direction. So just statistically speaking, the chances are multiple people do the same things at the same times in co-op are very high. Just very high. But that being said, like, it's fucking co-op. For those who don't know, if you've watched my stream, I got to masters with no build orders. I've never fucking used builders. I'm a shitty player. So to assume that I would have build orders for co-op when I don't even use them for like 1v1s, it's just like a whole nother level of just like amazingness, right? But then this is the the thing is, and this is where I give this guy a little bit of merit, right? He's, he's actually playing his video over my video and we are doing things almost the exact same. Like same units, same place, same everything. So <clears throat> in this hypothetical world where I had ever heard of this guy prior to Zombie Cup linking me this video and I had in this hypothetical world been stealing his builds, who gives a fuck? Everyone does the same 2 on 1 and 1v1s. Nobody's like, wow, you stole Beyond's build, so that win doesn't fucking count. You didn't give Beyond any credit for that, because it was actually Ryung who came up with it. Double trick! Like, I just... <laughs> so, for me, it's not even, like, anger. Like, I was with Zombie, I'm, like, reacting to this. I was laughing. I was like, are you... I couldn't believe it. I linked, like, a couple other people. I just couldn't believe how hilarious this was. But the part that actually bothered me, that was a little bit concerning, was... People in the comments are like agreeing with this guy. They're like, yeah. they're like <laughs> slow jerking him off about like how right he is about his expose on Rifkin. And I'm just like, because <laughs> here's the best part. The argument was that because we get so many views, we should give him credit. I'm like, my video got like 300 views. You just got like 47. Oh, so many views. <laughs> like, like if this is 30,000, if you've got like loco numbers of YouTube views, yeah, maybe be a little bit salty, but you're like, I just couldn't even, I just couldn't even, it's just, it, and the thing is we've live streamed ourselves playing co-op so many times, like it would have been very fucking obvious if I was taking someone else's build to play, like we lose 11 we've, times uh, until we just ease into the right strategy. <laughs> yeah, you, we've also had videos where I'm like, well, I know what Reddit says you should do, and you're like, no, I want to try this on my own. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. You to listen. <laughs> so anyways, anyways, we're not talking about the guy, and I'm not trying to link the video, oh, did someone link it in chat? Someone did. Okay, well, I was trying not to link it in chat because, like, we're not trying to give this guy attention or anything. Um, but it's just, it, it was, it was the most insane. Sorry, staff. We get timed out only for one second, dude. Just get rid of the link. The most insane thing I've heard. Like, I have been attacked for so many dumb things. We've got this guy who's made like 800 Rifkins of fat cunt like accounts, right? Like, we've got the weirdest stuff that's happened on the channel. But never have I ever been accused of fucking stealing, stealing someone else's builds, and that blew me away. So this is so funny for me. Anyways, yeah. uh, we didn't play the commercial break. We'll get that out of the way. Two minutes. We're already in the lobby. Kelzer versus Cloudy. TVP, best of five. When we get back, I'll see you guys in two minutes. <laughs> 